Hi everyone, Matt from Cambridge Longbows here. So this is a follow-up video to the self-bow stuff that I was doing with the tools. So I've made two bows out of hazelwood, which um, is one of my favourite, favourite bow woods, because it grows absolutely everywhere, so it's really good. So they're both survival bows, made with axes only, axes, rasps and a knife. So they've been floor tillered only, they haven't been on a tillering stick or tillering tree or anything like that. So the tiller won't be perfect. Um, the first one, because it's a survival bow, I've strung a paracord because you might have paracord in your um, survival kit. So here it is, yellow paracord. First one with paracord you need to take a note of is the fact that it stretches quite badly. So that's stretched a lot. But even though it's stretched, you can still shoot it like that because it would be a survival situation. So this is, this is the first one. This is about 50 pounds or 28-ish. Okay, so I will shoot a few arrows through this. And you can have a look. So bear in mind it's paracord which stretches. It's still got some zing to it, so have a watch. bit of wrist slap but then you know it's a survival bow you wouldn't have all your kit with you so you get a little bit of wrist slap going um, I suppose eventually it would stop um, stretching so you could just shorten it shorten it and shorten it eventually you might get a set brace high with it but as a survival bow goes it's just a piece of hazel wood and a piece of string well, paracord and um, you could probably do this all with just a hatchet or just a big knife. Or well, if you had time, you might be able to do it with a pen knife, but it would take you forever. So this is the first one. So yeah, it's quite long. If I put it on my toe, it's, it's up to my forehead. <laughs> Which you can't see, but hey. Now, a bit more fun than that one. Again, same, same thing. This was done with um, just hatchets and, um, and, uh, and knives and, and a rasp. So, and I've made a, a much shorter, so this, this guy is absolutely flies. So it's much wider, wider in the handle. It's quite chinky, chunky at the tips, because you know, it's just a survival bow. So I've left some of the outer material on the bow. Sometimes it's come down here when I've been stripping it off. It doesn't matter though. This one's got a proper string on. This one's coming in at 70 at 26 so this is a short draw for me it's quite it's, it's, you know it's pretty short you know, so that's like coming up to here so what's that i don't know maybe five foot um which is for me it's a pretty short bow um so yeah 70 at 26 this i love this this is just awesome have a look stacks quite badly but um, there's absolutely no doubt you're shooting something really powerful doing this one it's um it's great if I had to go hunting in you know and survive and I'm on an island somewhere which hopefully had hazelwood trees growing um, then yeah I'd use this one the other one's much more comfortable to shoot this is this is just lovely let's have a look so tape it in the handle it's still built up in the handle a bit nice and comfy it just comes through. Looks a bit like a baking potato, I always think. You know. And if it breaks, you just make another one. You know? Lovely thing. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you next time.